I'm Diane Derby. The Veterans Day Parade in Colorado Springs is now back on and the mayor is urging the community to show up. I was at City Hall this morning as he announced the parade will happen downtown Saturday, November 9th at 11 in the morning. As we've reported, the nonprofit that's been in charge of the parade for more than two decades canceled it last week because of what they say was a lack of participation. Now with less than five weeks left to get it done, the new organizer says he's ready to take on the challenge. There will be a Veterans Day Parade on Saturday, November 9th. Today's message from Colorado Springs Mayor Yemi Mobilade outside of City Hall was one many in our community have been waiting to hear. As a proud military city and home to approximately 90,000 veterans and their families, not having a parade was not an option. Last Thursday, the board of directors for the nonprofit in charge of the parade for the last 25 years made an announcement on their website the parade was off because of a lack of participation. Last year, they had 81 entries. This year, 51. Board members told me their cutoff this year was 65, and they could not justify the $50,000 cost to put it on. The board president spoke with me by phone today. You were only 14 away, though, from your goal. That seems like a small amount. Not when you're trying to get them to come. So will you return the money to the other donors or will that be saved in reserve for next year? I will send out a letter to each one of the donors and if they want their money back, the money that they have given me for this year, I'll return it. As the public outcry began last week, leaders at the city, the Colorado Springs Chamber and Economic Development Corporation and the community stepped in to find a solution. One of the people they called on to help was John O'Donnell, who has now taken on the task of organizing the parade. His public relations firm has been putting on parades in downtown Colorado Springs for the last four decades, including the St. Patrick's Day, Festival of Lights and the Pikes Peak or Bus Rodeo Parades. We're all excited we've hardly slept in three days we're just all cranked up so, so I, I think this will work out really well o'donnell estimates this parade will cost about fifty thousand dollars too he says some of the largest costs will be for police and fire service barricades and parking city council had previously approved the use of more than twenty eight thousand dollars from the city's lodgers and automobile rental tax or lart fund to be used for parade costs o'donnell says the rest of the money needed will come from donors. I asked the former organizer if he had any comment about O'Donnell taking over. I really don't have a reaction per se. You know, if Mr. O'Donnell wants to put on the parade, uh, when I gave up the, uh, the permit, uh, then it was uh, whoever wanted to uh, do the parade this year. I, I just wish him the best of luck, and I hope that the, the participation in the parade and the, the, the outpouring of uh, affection for the, uh, the veterans. An outpouring of affection the mayor is encouraging, too. Let's line the streets, let's wave our flags, and let's cheer on our heroes. Let's make this parade a resounding tribute to the women and men who have served our nation with courage and distinction. Let's show the world that Colorado Springs is a city that honors its veterans, not just with words, but with action. The nonprofit originally tasked with putting on the parade says they were not invited to be at today's news conference. They say they do plan to host the parade next year and will hold any donations not refunded in reserve. This year's parade on November 9th is called the In Their Honor Veterans Day Parade. Participation is free, but you do have to fill out an online application to take part. We have a link to do that on this QR code on your screen. We also have all of the information posted on our website, KOA. A.com.